All right, good morning. I want to show you a couple of things I have done back here on the back porch in preparation for doing inside work and also getting a sliding glass door put in here and closing that off. Get you up to speed. Uh, I've got a sliding glass door and screen on order from Home Depot. And it should be in November 5th. So in the meantime, I decided to do some sprucing up back here including the porch floor, concrete, slab. And I've got some before and after pictures and I'll show you right now what it looks like. did start off was I had to move the cabinet over here got this all done and all this repainted I put up a couple of wedges here and then over here put up a couple of shelves and repainted that wall repainted this put in a wedge down there and then when I was all done I looked at the concrete and I was like yeah, it looks like crap. <laughs> so, got in line to educate myself on what would be the best paint for concrete. And this bare granite grip was supposedly the, the best thing since sliced bread and tuna fish and cat litter. Um, and I went with this color. What they do is they sell these in tan or gray. And then they mix in colors at the store. And I looked at the color and I said, well, I'm going to go with this sunset terracotta color right here. And I put two coats down, like they said, using an adhesive roller for adhesives. Right here. Taped everything off. I even applied muriatic acid to etch the concrete to get it right and prepped and cleaned and I put down two coats of the terracotta and it just looked terrible as you can probably already saw in the pictures so scratching my head I said well you know I'm gonna redo it in just tan so I got two more gallons of tan you know just the base coat with no color additives in there and I went over it again and I took my time with the rollers I didn't use a drip pan or whatever that's called in the roller what I did is I just poured the gallon of paint on there and just kind of evened it out and it came out much better as you can see there's a little bit of a red tint that terracotta coming through uh, very hard to see I mean you have to be a, a drunk blind man you know to see it um, but it actually turned out pretty good. The texture is excellent. The adhesion is excellent. And they say it's one hour dry time, and then about, I don't know, a couple, two or three hours before you can do light foot traffic, and 72 hours for full cure. Like if, a lot of people use these for their garage floors. Uh, yeah, it'll work. But let me see if I can get down here, show you the some of the texture on here, right here. So this is what I didn't get even throughout the whole thing, but it still has texture in there. And that's what's really difficult with this bare granite grip paint is that it's hard to get even with a roller. And I'm not, you know, I'd never make it as a painter in my life, but um, this was about the best I could do. And it also filled in cracks. I had a big chunk right down there I repaired and it filled in nicely with uh, concrete spackle and taping 
and all that. But I just wanted to show you all what uh, you can expect if you ever want to paint your concrete like I did. And I left the blue tape on here. I'll probably pull that off either today or tomorrow. I'm going to get some more, I don't know, edging, I guess you call it. Uh, this, kind of, this kind of stuff, it's a composite material. Then I'll paint it this color because so I got a lot of paint. And I'll put a nice trim all the way up to about here. And then once I get the sliding door in, then I'll just finish it off and I'm going to close this off right here. So there you have it. It looks better. It looks a little tacky right now, but it is. It looks really good. It might be a hell of a lot better than just raw concrete with stain marks and cracks and everything else. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.